Hi guys and welcome back to Manny Centric. We are here today with the Manny X Me Box and this portion will not be um, voiced over because I wanted to make sure that I'm giving you guys my first reactions to the box even though I have seen the spoiler so I kind of knew what I was getting myself into before I even ordered it. So let's go ahead and see if we can find out what the name of this box is. Okay, this month is the Crystal Moon Manny X Me box. And I am kind of excited about this one because as you can see, there are crystals and succulents and flowers, which really just makes my day. Um, I've always considered myself to be the artsy type, so I like things like that. And before you guys ask, um, last month there was no Manny because I didn't get that box because I didn't really see myself using like the tattoo type of stamps. Also, the urge to reverse stamp those was going to be very strong and I'm just not at that level yet. They were still pretty kind of small and there was going to be a lot of um, more than one color in the reverse stamping. So I just didn't want to put myself through that. So I skipped that one. And the first thing that we see is the polish, of course. The nail lacquer and stamping polishes. Let me just open this real quick. And by real quick, I mean relatively <laughs> in my eyes real quick. And as you can see, I already have my um, base coat on. That is the Maniology Correcting, sorry, Concealing Base Coat. So that's already on so that I'll be ready to create a look as soon as possible. The first one that popped out is this green and I'm actually pretty happy now that I look under light at it I was worried it was going to be similar to malachite and I think it was pine but greenhouse it looks like it's more mixed with a little bit of sage but highly pigmented I'm gonna go ahead and grab the card and it says that um, a muted dusty green with hints of gray so Yay! Um, I'm definitely cool with that because I was a little worried because I already had a ton of um, darker forest greens from Maniology. And there you can see that under the light. We'll go ahead and stamp it as well. That is my neighbor's um, doggy next door. He really, really enjoys these videos, um, so much so that he feels the need to have a conversation with me while I'm trying to tape. It's very cool, though, because um, it's not like I have any other co-stars. Um, so we're going into the next nail polish, which is this very nice light gray. I was just thinking the other day that I don't have any of these. So um, this one is described as a pale gray stamping polish with a silky cream finish. So I'm excited about it because I don't think I have enough gray stamping polishes. I really don't. Um, I think I have one. And then for the rest of the time, I usually just depend on using nail polishes that stamp. So there's that one. So both of the polishes out of the way. And as you can see, I did not eat my gummies this time. Yay me. I'm feeling really, really proud of myself for that. And the first one that we've got is, it looks like the one, okay, this isn't the full finger pattern one. So, sorry about my right, my light up there. It does cast a little bit of a uh, reflection. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can zoom this in. So, as you guys can see, we've got butterflies, flowers. I like this one and this one because there's a background on it. And then we've got the moon, the crystals, and the geo shapes. 
with the flowers inside of them. I like that. I am a little concerned that the designs are going to be small, which is going to make it hard for me to reverse stamp it. But I am going to give it a try regardless because it's something that if I'm going to be doing a lot of stamping, it's something I'm going to really want in my repertoire and learn about. And then let's see what else we've got. I'm trying to get it to focus a little bit better because I want you guys to see these. All right, and then we've also got the little accent plants. I like those because I can go ahead and do those in a metallic or in a cream just to throw something into the mix on a plain mani or in a cream if you've got like tons of indies. I've ran into a lot of people that collect indies more so than like mainstream creams or also hollow um, polishes. You can use like a cream stamping polish to give it that accent. So I'm really excited about that. And then let me zoom in a little bit more because I wanted you guys to see these patterns, the column patterns. I think these are so pretty and I know I probably will not reverse stamp these just because I know my skill level that's going to be way too small for me. But I'm also very much digging the fact that the lines are here. I like the lines because even though I can never get them straight on my nail, which makes me kind of think my nail bed is really weird and crooked, um... I still like them as, like I said, an accent or as a border, like because you can use this thicker line to border out this column design right here, and that would be cute. Or if you wanted to just do the dots beside it in a metallic, do the stamp in a cream, now you've got two elements. But I digress. Um, as you can see, a lot of these are very reminiscent of the stamps that came, sorry, stamping plates that were flooding the market in Asia like over the summer. Like um, all of these other stamping plate companies, and I won't say all their names because obviously this is about maniology, um, but they came out, they had a ton of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on because it's already like seven minutes into this video. I don't want to go too long. But we are moving on. We've got the one. This one has the patterns. And these are, I could, I think. Nope, I'm thinking that these I could do a reverse stamp with. And possibly these as well. Because they are big enough. And um, these, I may do like a gradient. And then just do it in black. Or do it in a dark cream. And then we are seeing the columns here again. The column theme where you've got the negative space slicing into the floral design. And I think that is just so pretty. I think it's very unique. Obviously, they were on other plates, but with maniology, maniology always adds their own twist to it. So, like, you've got dragonflies showing up as themes in this plate a lot, um, whereas a lot of other companies did butterflies a lot. So, I think that that's cool that they're throwing their own twist on it. And then also you see the moons and the dotted uh, outlines with the geo. So I think it looks great. I'm very excited about it. But then again, that's also because I didn't buy up a bunch of the ones that were released over the summer. Because I kind of figured at some point that Maniology would. Or they would incorporate a few of the elements from those stamping plates into theirs. But those were the two exclusive plates. If you like those that I just showed, you're definitely going to want to go ahead and grab one of these boxes. If you're not that thrilled about the polishes, the cool thing about Maniology is they allow you to kind of customize it where you can just grab the exclusive plates, leave the polishes out. And then there is a bonus plate this time. 
And this one is definitely showing up with the moon theme. And I feel, I feel like there's people out there like me that love moon themes, crystals, and plants. So this will be right up our alley. And this one, though, will be going up for sale just like the polishes it's not exclusive you just may have to wait a little while to get it but this is what I'm more excited about is the shapes and the hollowed out shapes and the dots because it allows you to layer one stamp design over another stamp design and come out with something truly unique that you created yourself so I'm probably <laughs> going to lean towards this plate more so than the exclusives but what I'll do is I'll try to do a design with the exclusives today and then maybe come back and use this one so overall I'm very pleased with it I'm extremely happy that I went ahead and grabbed this one and I'm not upset that I didn't grab the other one because I don't think I was going to use it Honestly, but I'm excited to definitely give these a try. So we will be right back in a moment while I go ahead and put some actual polish on and then we'll get to the stamping part. Okay guys, we're going to start out with a medium gray from Zoya and that's Tiran. I'm really excited to go ahead and just get started with this just because I'm excited about Luna, which is a gray stamping polish, and I've been wanting one. Next up, we have Maniology Greenhouse, and Luna and Greenhouse are from the actual Maniax Me box. So, I've got my little sponge for a gradient, and as you can see, I've already painted my nails. Now we're just going into creating the gradient, which... I'm using Luna and Greenhouse because I thought it would make a great zen kind of color combination. I've always been fascinated with those. So now that I've got that, I added on a top coat to smooth out the gradient. And then I've got my gold born pretty. And I'm just going to do like the vine design in gold. I don't know why I've been totally obsessed with gold right now. I think it's just because it's such a eye-catching metallic color and I keep using the Born Pretty because it's nice and pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead stamp that onto the gradient nail but first checking to make sure they picked up the design and then that nail is totally done. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Could have done it in a dark gray, could have done it in a black, and it still will work with that gradient. Now I'm just moving on to the flower inside of like the two diamonds, because I thought that was so pretty. I thought about doing crystals, and then I was like, but I really like this design. So more than anything, it's more about what you want to do instead of what... Um, what would be appropriate for the season. I'm sure there are flowers blooming somewhere in the winter, right? So I'm looking and I'm grabbing Zoya Storm because I'm gonna use that as my reverse stamping polish to color in that flower. And as you can see, it actually turned out really well. I think that's in no small part to the fact that I was using my Maniology um, Detail Brush 106 and I just used it to paint around the edges first and then go in. I'll go ahead and link uh, the video that I made about reverse stamping. And then after I've gone ahead and let that dry, I put on the sticky base coat on the nail that I intend to put the reverse stamp design on. I used to do the des the decal technique, but that actually took way longer than I really wanted to wait. So, using the sticky base coat, which I absolutely adore, and applying it, and we're done. That easy, that simple, just a small little manicure. Anyway, thank you guys again for joining me today.
If you're part of my nail fam, thanks for coming back. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys for your time today. I'll talk to you later.